Andretti. Namaste, thanks for joining me, Beth Hetherington here on my One Posture Wednesday. And today we are standing. We're going to do Paravrita Utkatasana. So I did Utkatasana last Wednesday. So it's there on my YouTube channel for you to access. And this is a revolved version of that. So you'll see I've got a yoga brick. You might like to use a very sturdy book, a hardback book, something that you can put your weight on. So you're going to be putting your hand on it. Um, so just to give you an idea, something like this. So you really need to be able to use your book or a couple of books maybe stacked on top of one another is also a good alternative. So I'm going to come to the side and to begin with, you're just going to get an essence of inviting an awareness of being in your feet because this posture being a standing posture, it's quite an active posture. And as always with all of the postures that I offer, if it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't feel right today, if you're on your moon cycle and you're feeling particularly heavy in the legs, then acknowledge and honour where you're at and perhaps do something softer, come to the ground. I've got lots of other postures on the One Posture Wednesday that would nourish the cycle that you're at, the place that you're at. So really important to acknowledge that and then you can perhaps check in with this one when you're feeling a little bit more dynamic and uh, feeling ready for an, a standing posture. So just inviting the toes to spread as you lift them and replace them with space. And drawing the balls down of the foot, the outside blade, the inside outside heels, and we start to acknowledge a Tadasana. So we're going to bring the inner arches up, you can see me better if I'm face on, through the ankle, knee, and groin. And we're applying Uddiyana Bandha as we draw the belly in, up, and back. And we're coming up, try not to puff out the front ribs. Try to have a broadening through the collarbones, the shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees slight micro bend over ankles and heels. And the chin is tucked slightly back and up. And as we press down through the feet, there's a rise up out the top of the head. And then, just so you can see from the side on, when we come to come forward, so in Utkatasana, this tends to happen. So the belly and the heart drops down to the ground and the tailbone flips up to the back of the head. I always say like a Scorpio tail. So what we're looking for is the opposite. We would like the tailbone to go straight back to the back of your mat and you'd like to keep this sculpt of the belly drawing in, up and back and the breastbone is going directly forwards and slightly up. Relax the shoulders and invite the crook of the elbow, the inside elbow, towards the line of the ears. And naturally what happens, this shoulder, the shoulders roll up. So this is Utkatasana. And we tend to roll around the upper back. So we want to keep it the normal shape. It's on a diagonal in this instance. As we sit in, yeah? And try not to crank the back of the neck. Keep it wrinkle free. So the chin is actually parallel to the ground here and the gaze might go up and that is our Utkatasana. And then to revolve that posture, we're going to twist it, yeah? Paravrita, to twist, to revolve. So when you're ready, so I always offer to take the feet and the arms wider. If it feels challenging, take it wider. And then same as before, inhale, exhale. And we're going to sit down, so we've gone wider. Remember, be aware of the rolling of the shoulders up and the rounding of the upper back. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, bring the palms together, and we're going to exhale, take them down the center line, and have your brick ready to put your right hand. So it's actually in the center. It's making a triangle with my two big toes, and it's directly below my nose. So I'm going to put my right hand on it, and I'm not going to collapse into the shoulder and arm. I'm going to press into the hand and rise up. And then I'm going to exhale and take that left arm up. And we want to sit the butt lower and lift the heart higher. And if it's okay for the neck, look up to the top left hand. If it's not, look down to the right hand. Notice if it gets saggy in that right hip, press into the feet equally. And you can breathe in and out for one. Breathe in and out for two. Breathe in and out for three. Release. 
and we'll go to the other side. And of course, as we become more aware of this posture, we can bring the feet closer together. So when you're ready, have your brick again, just underneath your nose, completing that triangle. Inhale, prepare, exhale, sit to chair. Broaden the collarbones, remember tailbone straight back, not flipping up and not tucking under. Inhale, bring the palms to press, and exhale, take your left hand onto your prop. Don't collapse in the shoulder, press down through the hand, inhale, exhale, and rise the gaze to those top right fingers. Sit the butt lower, lift the heart higher, and really press into that to that prop that you're using to feel that stretch and length through the back of you. So stimulating the diaphragm, but also the internal organs. Inhale, exhale, and release. And perhaps take a little forward fold for a moment. You might put your hands on a couple of props here, and then slowly, with care, making sure you don't go dizzy, make your way all the way up to stand. So, that's the first place in terms of preparing to twist, to revolve. And then as you become more aware of that, I'm just gonna go back the other way. You might start to bring the knees, uh, the feet together a little more. And when you're ready, inhale, you're gonna bring the arms up, palms to press. And as you exhale, taking the right elbow to the outside of that left knee. So you can see, I'm going to come on to the side actually. So you can see quite often I see this, the butt is high, the heart is low. We would like the butt to be lower and the heart higher. And this now is actually more challenging because I've got that awareness of upper back as well as what's happening in the legs. So it's a strengthener and a stretch for the legs. Again, I can really feel it in the thighs, front and back, in the shins and calves, ankles, great. For the legs and the outside elbow is pressing into the uh, into the outside knee to give lift and twist so I'm starting to get length in this right side and the intercostal muscles between the ribs you can look up to that left elbow if it feels okay or you can look down and if you have that lift and twist more try to open up so the thumb knuckles come to the breastbone you can inhale exhale forward fold tuck the chin release and then slowly come all the way up again. Take your time, pause if you feel dizzy. So always listen to your inner voice. And let's go to the other side. So find your feet distance. And I've noticed interestingly as I've got older, my feet tend to be a little bit wider, this space between the feet. And I actually think it's an awareness of honoring this energy here in the pelvis, the very female energy. <clears throat> and so when you're ready on the inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up as we exhale, we're gonna sit to chair. Inhale, bring the palms to press, exhale. It's the left elbow to the outside of that right knee this time. Sit the butt lower, lift the heart higher and use the palms to press. And the elbow, the outside elbow on the outside knee to really invite that lift and twist of the torso. So I'm really feeling space now in the left rib cage. Also across the shoulder blades, lovely opener for the back. Try not to make, make sure, try not to crinkle the back of the neck again. Tuck the chin so that the top of the head is in line with the tailbone. So inhale, exhale again. Use the leverage of the elbow on the knee so that the thumb knuckle is in between the breastbone and look to the top right elbow. Breathing in and breathing out, release. A forward fold, shake out the head. And when you're ready with your breath, slowly come all the way up, rolling up the spine, and exhale. Thanks so much for joining me on my One Posture Wednesday, Parabrita Utkatasana, revolved chair, lightning, or thunder pose. And you can access these on from my website, www.nutrifiveplus.co.uk. And if you scroll down to the first page, you're on the first page there, you scroll down and that will take you to the white writing services and classes. If you click on that, it will take you to my weekly classes that I'm running online at the moment. 
And if you go to Wednesday, there's a little here. If you click on here, it takes you to my YouTube channel. Lots of videos on there, yoga videos. And if you click on videos, you'll see all of the One Posture Wednesdays that I've been doing whilst we've been in lockdown. So if you're finding them useful, do let me know. It's always good to hear from you. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week. Om Shanti. Namaste.